I'm preheating my stove because as the title implies, we're making wings tonight. But these are not just any wings. These are million dollar wings. Now, if you clicked on this video thinking that I spent a million dollars on some wings, you clearly don't know me that well. But they're called million dollar wings because by the time we're done with them, they're probably gonna be valued as such. Okay, so first things first, like I said, I got my oil preheated on medium high heat. This is gonna actually be a fairly quick recipe. At least I think it will be. Now I want you to get yourself some clean, feathered party wings, and we are going to season these super simple. Now I'm seasoning, oh, oh, okay. One moment, please. They say when you spill salt, you should throw some over your shoulder. Here's the thing, I'm not cleaning salt up off my floor. I refuse to do that. Anyways, I'm seasoning this chicken super simple because it's gonna have a sauce on it that is literally going to be the star of the show. The sauce is what is going to tie this whole thing together. That I can promise you. So, literally season this super simple salt and pepper. That is it. Now, if you did want to season your wings further, by all means, feel free to do so. I have lately, I'm gonna put you on a little game. Lately, I have been seasoning my chicken with tangin or tangine. I don't know how to say it. I bought this for another recipe, it was dope there. If you have this in your cabinet and you wanna put this on the chicken, you can do that. I'm not mad at it. I just don't want the taste of lime in this particular recipe. This recipe is definitely gonna be silky, like silky velvet wings. I think that's the only way I can describe it. Silky velvet million dollar Parmesan garlic wings. Like, I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot, but trust me. Trust me, it's gonna be all that and more. There, are, now listen, every recipe, every single recipe, I'm like, try it, send it to your mom and him, every single one. This recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and say it in the front part of this video, try this, send it to your mom and him. Seriously, send this recipe to your mom and him. Moving along, like I said, salt and pepper, that is it, that's all it needs on the base of this chicken. And we are going to be frying this chicken without any flour, without any cornstarch. I know in the lemon pepper video, um, I used a cornstarch flour blend, but this one, we're gonna fry them naked. Now, as you can see, I'm not literally naked. I think YouTube tends to frown on those type of things. I tend to frown on those type of things. But I will say this, and this is not an ad or a sponsor, I have been living in this flannel for the past three weeks. I say that to say, if you see me in this flannel in the next three or four, five, six or seven videos, just mind your business, okay? Okay, so my oil is in hot yet, and that's okay because we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of our ingredients together. Now, a key component in this Velvet Silky Million Dollar Parmesan Garlic recipe is garlic, okay? Um, you can incorporate garlic in the seasoning if you would like. I'm gonna actually incorporate fresh garlic. If you have minced garlic, that is completely fine. I'm not a garlic purist. Um, for this particular recipe, there are some recipes that I'm like, don't use the stuff out of the jar. But for this recipe, if you have the stuff in a jar, you can use that. If you wanna use garlic powder, you can use that. Um, if you wanna use fresh garlic, you can use that. Crushed garlic, you can use that. Try to get little small pieces as, as small as you like it. Nobody typically likes to bite in large chunks of garlic, so try to get it small. Set this aside. And at this point, your oil should be hot enough to fry. So, drop your chicken wings in. Okay, so while the chicken is frying, I'm gonna go ahead and get our sauce together. One of the components is going to be brown butter. Brown butter. So I'm gonna take three tablespoons of butter that I'm just gonna brown on the stove. All right, so I'm at a point where my butter has not browned yet. It's almost there, it's starting to get there. It's bubbling and so now I'm gonna add the garlic. And we're gonna let this brown butter take it the rest of the way. So that's, that's where we're gonna get the garlic flavor. I'm just gonna cook in this brown butter. You don't put the garlic in first because garlic has a tendency to burn and you really don't want that like burnt garlic bitter taste. So 
Start your butter halfway first and then add your garlic. Butter has browned. It's a beautiful, toasty brown color. See how quick that happened. So like I said, if you put the garlic in here first, the garlic would have burned. All right, so I'm gonna let this chill out a little bit. I don't wanna pour this directly into this glass bowl because it actually may crack the bowl. So I'm gonna set it off to the side. Check on my chicken. Look at these little chicklets. Now I know it's very popular in bar culture that if you're making wings, you just fry them naked and then you allow the sauce to season your wings. Well, okay. Mm. For anybody who does that, salt and pepper will take you a long way. You know how to do it right, and salt and pepper will take you so far. It will take you further than any other seasoning can probably take you. And I wholeheartedly mean that. All right, so the butter is cooled down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in this bowl. And I know you're probably thinking, she's gonna toss those wings in the butter and garlic sauce and put the cheese on top and call it a day. I'm not. The reason I'm calling these wings made out of wings is because of the creme fresh. My God. This will legitimately change your life. So to the bowl, I've got some brown butter. I'm gonna take some room temperature creme fraiche and I'm gonna drop it in. The reason being room temperature is because I don't wanna keep this creme fraiche up. It has a tendency to melt and we don't want that. So that was probably about three or four tablespoons of creme fraiche. Not the, that wasn't the whole canister, I just, I used it for something else. Do you see now where I'm going with this? Toss them in this sauce. You can use this if you like. As long as the chicken doesn't get stuck in the whisk. Give it a toss. You see, you, do you see what's happening now? You see why the wings are million dollar wings. It's in plate. The heat from these wings are heating it up ever so softly. Now we're gonna take them out. Let them sit off to the side, let them think about their process of getting eaten. And of course you cannot have Parmesan garlic wings without cheese. I'm gonna be using two types of cheese. I'm gonna be using cotija cheese as an emphasis on the cotija. I have to ask my friends how to say that. So go ahead and give that a nice little sprinkle. You can use Romano if you have that. And of course, we gotta finish it off with some Parmigiano Reggiano. Get you a cheese grater. Put a little on top too, so you just have different types of cheese. Cotija cheese is a little bit softer than this Parmesan cheese because it's been aged a little bit longer, but they are both salty cheeses. So just keep that in mind as you're seasoning. Finish it off with a little razzle dazzle for color. And go, we're done. Let this batch finish, but of course, of course I'm gonna try it on camera. I'm not gonna not try it on camera. Oh. This don't owe you nothing. This stuff is bomb, y'all. They're so rich, hence million dollars. Like I said at the beginning of this recipe, try this. Send it to your mama. Get the cotija, get the parm, get the creme fresh, brown the butter, throw it on some chicken, and get your life, okay? And thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, I hope that you have a good week while surrounded by good community and eating good food.